What's up everybody, Gary Simon here. And today, once again, this is day four of the seven day, seven designs challenge that I launched a few days ago. And as always, I, you know, being consistent with the last few days, we're going to first introduce today's challenge. Then we will choose the winner from the participants from yesterday's challenge. And then also finally, we will check out some of the entries based on yesterday's challenge. So today's challenge is this, <clears throat> do whatever you want. That's right. You submit whatever design that you and you alone created. I don't want you submitting anything, you know, if it, it contains work from other people, uh, like stock clip art, whatever, don't submit it. If you designed a logo, if you designed a UI design, if you designed um, a testimonial section, if you designed a really great button or whatever, submit it. And I might, I may not, I might feature it. Now, Listen, I have to give you guys a brief story. I'm not gonna name names, but somebody got very emotional because yesterday I did not mention or review their design. Well, here's the thing. The first day of this competition, or this challenge rather, the series, I had 88, 87 or 88 entries. Uh, the second day I had 83. Yesterday I had 83 as well. So it would take hours to sit there reviewing all of these. So this is just something fun for you and you know, as a designer, every time you focus on a project and every piece of work that you create, it's something that helps you get better. So it's not like it's as if it was for nothing. So if I didn't choose your design, it's only because I, I just have so many to choose from and there's really no major criteria. If there's something, if there's a design that I thought was really good, I included it. But um, other than that, there's really no criteria. All right, so don't worry about that. All right. So what I, we're gonna do now, like I said, you know, there, the instructions for submission are below in the YouTube description. Um, and again, you can just submit anything that you've created. Um, you can create it from scratch, um, something maybe that you created in the past, and I may take a look at it. So go ahead and do that. And you know, I, I certainly will review at least 10 to 20 of them. So go ahead and submit just for the fun of it. Tomorrow, by the way, um, I'm not gonna be uploading an, a video every day of the seven day challenge. I decided um, after today, starting tomorrow, we will have three challenges left and I'm gonna upload a video tomorrow on Friday and I'm going to create a challenge that includes, includes three different challenges within a single project. And then that way on Monday, we can come back and look at the entries. So I uh, hopefully, you know, that way we'll be able to knock them out you'll have the weekend to do them. And it'll be like a single project that has three objectives. <clears throat> all right, so let's go ahead and choose the actual winner. So here are all the 83 entries that we received. I was really surprised that we had the same number yesterday that we did um, uh, today here. So let's go ahead, random pick. All right, it is this person right here. Let's, who is this person? All right, working with digital marketing, social media and branding and ads, studying about web design and front end dev. I'm front end, blah, I'm talking too fast. Let's check out their submission real quick. All right, you know what? This is a pretty solid design. There's a few things uh, that I would wanna change. The font looks a little bit typical, like an Arial or something. Um, the indentation right here from the hay, it's not lining up on the exact column from which this starts. This is slightly offset right here. I'd probably wanna either really inset it to create a significant difference between you know the, the two columns that starts here and perhaps over here. Um, the join the club seems pretty large for that button. I would probably scale that down a little bit, uh, but, but overall simple enough. It, it's definitely not the worst entry I've seen. It's not the best, but it's also not the worst. All right, so I will hit you up soon. Um, and everybody else who's won, uh, the other you know three people or whatever, we're gonna go ahead and I will message you um, at the end of this challenge um, with uh, your, your information uh, in terms of accessing the content. All right, so now let's go ahead for the fun part and actually review the designs that I chose to uh, feature. Now, by the way, I have to preface this and say, some of these, when I, I, I saw them initially for the first time, by the way, I did look at all 83 entries. Um, they just made me laugh really badly. So <laughs> let me tell you why. For some reason, I, you know, I'm learning illustration design, by the way. 
This right here is not what it's supposed to look like. Like, look at the arm flying off to the side and look at this thing over here. It looks like Elephant Man or something. Like, what's wrong with this arm? It's not supposed to look like that. Well, that has to do with Affinity uh, Designer on iPad. When I exported the SVG, for some reason, when I imported it into Figma, it made it look completely screwed up. Like this leg down here, it's not supposed to look like that. But anyway, no big deal. Um, so let's just check out some of these. Now this one right here, so this design was meant, this illustration was meant to be placed on a white background, especially over here, it's kind of screwed up. Like I kind of did this quickly. It's not a very smooth edge. So it kind of doesn't look too great right here. Um, in terms of everything else, like on this UA design, I'd say that um, this is pretty large. I would probably scale this down a bit, probably reduce, you know, the. I know they're all kind of blue in, in the background here, but still they contrast a little bit too much from each other. So they're taking away a lot of emphasis on the main content, which is probably one thing that you would wanna fix. Um, just check out this one. I don't know why it is blank. Let's refresh and hope the thing works. Okay, this one, extremely simple, obviously. Yeah, whatever that is. Very simple navigation up here. This actually works. It's extremely simple. There's nothing wrong with it. It actually works. I build things for the web. I can tell this is Montserrat, one of my favorite fonts, of course. One issue though, I would say is kind of like the alignment and also the size of the type between these two elements. I'd probably scale this part down a little bit more just to create more of a distinction between these two elements right here. Other than that though, this isn't horrible. It's extremely simple. And for the most part, it works. All right, next up here, looking at this, one problem is the type. So we have the logo, which is pretty large <clears throat> and a very unique type of script font. Um, and then we have this over here and then we have a lot of bold elements in here, underlined elements. So what's happening is there's a little bit too much of clutter happening over here. So I'd like to see this simplified a little bit more. Next up, this one, I like the, uh, these these uh, sorts of uh, pill shapes in the background. I think that's similar to one of my recent tutorials that I did. Um, but inside, again, we have the broken issue because this is a Figma prototype. Um, this is pretty solid, actually. I really like the type. This is significantly different. It's smaller, it's a lightweight, it's a different color. So it's really contrasted well between these two. The get started button's perfect. Um, learn more, secondary call to action is perfect as well. This is very solid. Probably one of the best entries that we received. All right, right here, two things. I'm not too certain about the color right here. Um, but I'm also really not certain about the font. The font just seems, I don't know. It seems a little bit strange to me, um, especially for up here. Maybe for this part, it's fine, the large headline text, but for up here as well, I think it's just a little bit, um, not the right font choice for this. Um, looking at this, look, look at the leg, it's so ugly. I, that's why I was laughing, it's like, this is horrible. It's not their fault, it's my fault for using a tool that exported an SVG that's all messed up. Next up. Um, okay, so the problem here is we have a very light gray background. This isn't quite white. And if you look over here, I with the background, this very light blue, it doesn't contrast. So it creates a kind of like ugly blur effect kind of. They don't just fit well, unfortunately. So this design here would have been much better if you would simply have just taken the background and make it 100% white. So if you're watching this and you design this one, Go back into this Figma document, change the background to white, and it's going to be instantly improved. Next up, okay, another blank screen for whatever reason. All right, this one's uh, pretty good here. Let's enlarge it. Uh, let's scale this up. There we go. So I like the type, I like the colors. Uh, everything here looks pretty solid. Um, the call to action's good. This part's good. Um, all three elements of the type right here are styled differently, so that's good. Um, yeah, this is all really solid. Again, probably one of the best entries that we received. And come on, come on, come on. Here's another one. This is really simple, Adobe XD, very simple um, navigation up here. This all pretty much works. I have no problem with this one. All right, this one, um, I like the colors here. 
Um, I think the type might be just a little bit too large. There's not a lot of white space between these elements here, so it, it, things feel a little bit cluttered in a sense. So I would probably just shrink this down, this part, a little bit um, as much as possible. Looking at this one, uh, let's see here. So this type, this light blue, fall, smaller, did I just say faller? Smaller font size of type right here. I probably, it's probably a little bit hard to read for some people, so I'd probably make that a dark gray um, or pro possibly black. Um, the let's get started gradient right here. It's, it's going to light already and the type is light, so there's not a lot of contrast. I might rethink this. Sometimes it it's, might be best just to make a solid, vibrant orange and then have the white text on top of it and then it would really stand out. I do like uh, the logo in this part right here. We have each of these separated into three different columns. This one might be a little bit better. This account right here, I would move that over because it's a little bit off from the rest of the three. And maybe also make these like dark gray or black to, to further separate them from a different, you know, sort of semantic element from these right here. It's good otherwise though. All right, <laughs> let's refresh this. I thought this one was hilarious. Um, there's actually animation. Start now. Look, he just kicked a soccer ball. Um, wait, can I go back here? There we go. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that hilarious? I just had to, I had to include this one because I thought it was hilarious. Very creative. <laughs> By the way, if you're holding a, um, a barbell like that, you're probably gonna break your back in half. I've done similar things like that in the past. This one right here, um, I had to include some of them that were really need improvement just for the fun of it, but this type of text doesn't really fit with this type of theme right here. It's like, um, this, this, this makes me, I uh, have flashbacks to the very first Terminator. Like, um, there's very few cases where this makes sense. Maybe in a gamer user interface or like a sci-fi project. So definitely you wanna stick with the more familiar typefaces that people are gonna use. So that's like the biggest issue here is the typefaces. Um, coming up next, um, we only have about four more of these. This is one I thought was really interesting. Uh, let me refresh it. So upload your selfie, processing, and then here's my little selfie right there. So turn yourself into an illustration. Um, everything right here is pretty solid. Uh, I, I like the UI design, visual hierarchy, all the UI design fundamentals are here pretty much, very good. Um, here's uh, another one right here. The issue here is color. So like there's way too many vibrant colors happening. You're not really sure where to look. I can appreciate trying to like change things up but still i think there's just a little bit too much happening here in terms of the colors i do like this font i like the font combination between these two um call to action's good but just this section is just a little bit too much happening especially like this part right here that's supposed to be the same color as this right here but uh no big deal either way thank you for submitting right here a big issue with visual hierarchy you're not really sure where to look you know we have the, the big watch it text which is basically bigger or if not the same size as this text right here this type over here this headline same size as this over here you're not really sure where you you know you should look so you you really need to simplify things and really direct people in terms of where they should be looking as much as possible and right here i thought this one was hilarious um this dude's just bouncing up and down like a jackrabbit um I'm not sure exactly like if that was the intention here, but ideally, if you're gonna have like a floating element, you need to slow that down by about a thousand percent from where it's currently at, just because it takes so much attention away from the important data and the call to action over here. And that's basically it. So uh, this was a fun one, of course. Hopefully you guys uh, participate in tomorrow's challenge. You can submit anything design-wise as long as you've created it 100% yourself. I may or may not feature it. In terms of percentages, I've been receiving about 80 of these entries. I'm only like reviewing 15 to 20. So don't get mad, don't cry if I didn't feature yours. It's nothing personal, all right? So I'll see you guys soon and yeah, subscribe if you haven't yet.